Hey guys, good morning. It's Ramon Lomelli. Welcome to episode number 10 of the vlog. the intro let me take a sip of my coffee and let you know what we're getting into today on today's episode we had a few things going on today pretty exciting my sister is actually closing on her second home today which is really nice so we're gonna do the um, the final walkthrough and then we're gonna go to the closing table so I'll bring you guys along for that and then we have a do you remember that last week if you didn't watch last week's episode you might be lost but last week we did a new construction blue tape walkthrough which basically means we go we put blue tape on all the imperfections and they go and they fix everything so we're gonna go back to make sure that all those things are done and done appropriately and done correctly and because they're closing tomorrow so we gotta make sure everything's golden with that and I'll fill you guys in a little bit more about all those things. Uh, on top of that, we got all day calls, emails, and all kinds of fun real estate things that I'd love to show you. So hang out, stick around, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. First thing is a high speed montage of me clearing out my emails. All right guys, just got done with the emails and we came across our first fire to put out. For that new construction final walkthrough, the attorney just emailed me and said, hey, we don't have any paperwork from the lender. Are we still closing tomorrow? Which should have already been taken care of. Hey Tammy, what's going on? Oh, ready to shoot myself in the head. How oh. about yourself? <laughs> Normally on Monday, that's what I'm ready to do. By Wednesday, those feelings have subsided. <laughs> yeah. The attorney had sent an email that said that they haven't received the closing package or... It's, it, it's in for the clear to close. What happened was is they did not give us the go ahead to order the appraisal mm. until a little later. Oh. <clears throat> and I'm waiting for the appraisal to come back in. Um, and I've already talked to the appraiser. She's going to have the report to me today. So, And I've talked to the attorney as well. Gotcha. Um, I've already gone over some numbers with um, George. Me as well, or, yeah, George. Um, so it's just a matter of pulling it all together. They're working on everything. Um, so, you know, I assured him this morning that, you know, we're all working together to get, to get it done. Perfect. All right, so it looks like the um, closing is going to be fine for tomorrow. So that's great news. Notified the buyer. He's happy. He's calmed down. He's cool. And um, so we're gonna go to the final walkthrough for my sister, then my sister's closing. Then we're gonna go to a new listing that I just got. Um, she's not quite sure about the measurement, so I'm gonna go over there and I'm going to um, uh, measure the house. And hey, that's probably a good time to show you guys how to uh, electro how to use an electronic measure uh, to measure a house. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, I'll show you guys how to work that and uh, we're gonna measure the house make sure that the numbers are accurate and after that we're gonna go to the new construction final for the closing tomorrow and uh, yeah we'll go from there it's early enough for me to make a few calls before we get the day started so let's get on that check this out one of uh, the leads that came in yesterday she just started talking to me and uh, she actually sent me a couple pictures here of two houses that she wants to go look at uh, today. So I'm gonna see if I can fit it after the new construction uh, final walkthrough. We got a lead that just came in 18 minutes ago. And then I'm gonna log the call, not home, so I know I already called her. And then we're gonna send her a quick voice message that stands out a normal i have this little app called voice recorder and it just comes up at the bottom of the iphone and um you just record a message and send it i think like an audio file stands out more than a uh, text message they actually have to engage and push play and so i'm going to record a message and send it to her and this is one of those little things that just helps you stand out just a little bit more so this is the kind of message that i leave when i'm doing these Hey Anna, what's going on? It's Ramon Lomelli. I hope you're having a great day. 
I uh, just wanted to follow up with you. It looks like you were on my website looking at some homes and I'm just wondering if you're looking for something now or you're looking for something down the road in the future some point. Uh, let me know what you're looking for and uh, yeah, shoot me a text back or give me a call back at any time. It's Ramon Lomelli, EXP Realty. I uh, look forward to hearing from you. All right, so Francisco came in, yes, no, today. He's got an iPhone. Uh, so I'm gonna send him a regular I don't know if you guys know this feature on the iPhone you can just push that little push that little button there and then you can start recording natively on the iPhone so it looks a lot better Francisco what's going on buddy it's a, this is uh, Ramon Lomelli uh, hey listen you were on my website it looks like yesterday um, checking out um, on Facebook it looks like you found me it says here uh, just wondering are you in the market to buy or sell or have any questions um, I don't want to uh, call you if you don't need any help. I'm just wanting to make sure that um, that you got my contact info in case you need anything. Uh, but yeah, man, shoot me a text back or give me a call. Let me know how I can help, if at all, and uh, we'll go from there. So one of the cool things about this system, there's actually an app associated with this system. And so a client or a potential client named Cole had come in a couple days ago and he just replied. He says he likes the homes that I sent him. So I'm going to reply and say, and this is through the app, so I can actually send a voice message, which I really like to do. Um, but uh, I'm just gonna reply uh, verbally here, or through text here, and say, um, um, okay. He says he likes all the ones I sent him, so I'm gonna say, okay, let me know if you'd like to go see one. So I give him a couple of options of times. If you just say, when do you wanna go? usually don't get a good response there so I try to not ask them when I just try to give them two or three options that way they feel more it feels more legit I feel like so that's what's going on with that one let's keep making these calls all right next is Donald he came in last night at midnight so hopefully it's um, not too early to call him we'll see Mr. Donald, what's going on, buddy? It's Ramon Lomelli. Hey, what's up, man? Not much, not much. Just uh, checking up on you. It looks like you had been on my uh, Facebook looking at homes under 200. And uh, just wonder if you're buying one or two or three this year. Shit, I'm trying to buy one. <laughs> there you go. I'll be real quick. I just want to know kind of what price range you're looking for. I'll email you some options. If you see something you like, you call me. If not, we keep it moving. Yeah, man, I'm gonna send you some emails to that um, um, that Gmail you provided, okay? That's the one. Check it out. Let me know. Okay, man. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Have a good one. All right, we're gonna call Tabitha and see what happens. Wish me luck, guys. Hello. Hey, Miss Tabitha. It's Ramon Lomelli. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Um, it looks like you were on my Facebook uh, yesterday looking at some houses. Uh-huh. And I was just wondering, are you going to buy two or three this year? Two or three what? Houses. <laughs> we're just, hoping for one. Just one? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I will definitely talk to him and get back to you after I check that link out. Thank you so much. No, it's my pleasure, and just um, call, text, email, whatever works for you. Evenings, weekends are fine. Just let me know ahead of time, and we'll knock it out. Thank you so much for calling. Have a great day. You too, Miss Tabitha. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. See, that's what I call a home run phone call. So she's aware enough... That was great. That was like textbook. That's exactly. See, I started. I'm talking too fast. Let me slow down. I started off with a little dad joke, a little humor, try to break the ice and start getting to know her. She was definitely very, very nice, receiving. And um, <clears throat> it sounds like uh, she's really interested. She's waiting on a response from a credit union. So that's like best case scenario. If if the credit union doesn't work, then we'll have an option. I have a lender that works with lower credit scores. Make a relationship, create a client right now. And then when she's ready to buy, three, six, nine, 12 months from now, they're gonna call the guy that was willing to take, take a chance on them. Um, let's end there on a high note. You'll see me next, get in the car, heading to that final walkthrough.
Alright guys, now we are on the way to the final walkthrough for my sister's purchase. She's so excited, everything's ready to go. We're going to go to the house, make sure everything's golden, and then we're going to go to the closing table from there. And as a little surprise, I brought somebody with me. Hey Gia, say hi. Hi. Alright guys, so we just got to the final walkthrough. It looks like everything is done that they agreed to. I'm here with my business partner, Mr. Giovanni, also known as my seven-year-old son. Say hey. Hi. <laughs> what do you think about Tia Daisy's brand new house? I feel like if we were moving, I think this should be our new house. You think this should be our new house? Why? Yeah. Because it looks amazing. It's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you see all that land it has? Yeah. It has two and a half acres of flat, clear land. Wait. And there's horses back there. Whoa, where are you going? Two and a half acres? Acres, not anchors. <laughs> All right guys, so we just left another successful closing. This one was extra special because actually my sister. And now we are on the way to feed the kids and then we're gonna go measure that house. I'm sure you guys had to measure uh, the inside of a house. All right guys, so I really wasn't planning on this, but since we're gonna go ahead and go measure a house, I might as well show you guys how that works and what that looks like. It'll be kind of an impromptu class on how to measure the inside of homes, at least the way I do it. I know there's many, many ways, including paying a professional to do it. Uh, and I do that sometimes when I'm really busy, I'll just hire someone, but if I have time, I'll just save the money and measure them myself. So all you're gonna need is a pen or a pencil. And then a, now you can get graph paper. I used to use graph, graph paper. I think the way they teach is to, to use the graph paper. You're gonna need a, where are you? Laser measure. This thing is like 13 or 14 bucks on Amazon. Uh, it is a lifesaver. This one is Su, Suwaki. Oh, there it is, Suwaki. You turn it on and uh, let me see if I can, yeah, you get a little laser in there. And then once I, I put um, I put one end of the laser on one side of the room, and I put the other end against the other wall. Hit the button, and it tells me that distance is. See the focus, and I take that information for every single room. I do this wall going this way, then I do this wall going this way, and then I got the dimensions. Now Right, guys we got our measurements and we are ready to rock and roll we're headed to the new construction uh final walk through now and uh yeah I'll see you guys there all right guys we're at the new construction walk through here with jacob with sagamore home say hi jacob hey how you doing and uh so we just went uh through the house and there's a couple things that need to be fixed uh, what were those things, Jacob? Uh, we got a couple, couple little ones. Um, we got a vibration 
that we're getting in the wall that we're getting taken care of as we speak. The nice. uh, HVAC crew is here now. Um, we got a dead bush out front. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is getting replaced. Um, a couple little touch-ups, nothing too major. We should be um, we should be all set for closing tomorrow. Nice. All right, thanks, Jacob. See you later. All right, guys, we just left the new construction walkthrough. Now we are on the way home to hopefully have time to grab a snack. I have not had lunch today. I'm starving. But uh, so we're going to run home, do a couple things, hopefully grab a snack, head to the. Oh, I got an appointment. I didn't tell you guys. Uh, one of the people I was texting back and forth, Cole, um, there's a property he wants to go look at, and uh, he's got like a almost 700 credit score. So he should be no problem on getting a loan as long as his income is there. So we're going to go check out that house, talk about the process. I'll bring you guys along. Maybe I won't shove the camera in Cole's face because I just met him. I don't want to be like, hey, be in my video. But um, I'm sure if uh, I'm sure eventually I'll get him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, stay tuned for more action. What's going on, guys? I'm back home and we're going to end the vlog right here. Thanks again for making it all the way to the end of the video. So uh, just to do a quick recap, we did the final walkthrough for my sister, which was wonderful. Everything came out perfect. Uh, then we did the um, the closing, which went great. Gave her the keys. Everyone's happy. Everything's awesome. Then we rushed over, did the final walkthrough. It was actually a little bit late to the final walkthrough for the new construction that's closing tomorrow. But uh, they forgave me. Everything was golden. We um, after that, what did we do? We went. Oh, we went to show the house in Kernersville. Unfortunately. There was an agent there with their client and I pulled up with my client and my client was already there. Couldn't pull out the camera and put it in everyone's face, but it was a nice little three bedroom, two bath brick ranch in Kernersville for 150. So it's very popular um, home. It's, I'm sure it's gonna sell for way more. Found out he wasn't qualified, but I got him over to a lender. It sounds like he's gonna be good. So if he's good, he's gonna make an offer on that property and I just gotta wait on, on the lender to let me know. So that's basically, basically where we are right now. Um, other than that, thanks again for watching the uh, the channel. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe. Actually, if you don't mind, please take a moment. It's right, it's right there. It's right there. Just uh, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. And uh, let me know what you guys want to see on the next one.